up in um, a Christian household. Yep. So obviously, I, went, I always went to church, <coughs> yep. but I never felt like a certain connection with God just because growing up. I never had like a pro, a, like a strong belief. Yeah. It was just like a thing where my parents were, and I didn't feel that I was. Yeah. But obviously now that now, because um, I just feel like Christianity is the correct religion. You know, I mean Jesus died for our sins, and obviously <coughs> Muhammad came 500 years after Christ. So it makes sense that that Jesus is the way you know but obviously if you want to try to change my mind then <laughs> go ahead all right um jesus christ dying on the cross for our sins why what does that mean to you it means that we're cleansed of like evil that we do could anyone else have died on the cross for our sins uh, what do you mean aside from him yeah I'm not, I'm not too sure. No, because Jesus is the human form of God. Like, he is God in human form. So he was put on this earth to basically spread the word of God. But he was God in human form, do you know what I mean? So, God became a human being in Jesus Christ? No, no, no. He's the revelation of God. So what does see, that mean? Okay, so, basically, if you take a picture of me, yeah. yeah, and I show you the picture, yeah. it's me, but yeah. it's not me here it's like it's like an image of me yeah. that's basically what jesus is he's an image of god okay but then he's not god does that make sense if i took a picture of you the picture is no longer it doesn't it's not you but it it's is, just a picture of you does that make sense yeah but it's me but in another form yeah do you know what i'm trying to say it's like, not it's not because what does it mean to be you the picture looks like you yeah, yeah. god almighty yeah is all powerful all knowing yes. yeah if I, if I painted a picture of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. yeah, the painting doesn't become Jesus Christ. It's just a painting of Jesus Christ. We as Muslims believe Jesus Christ is a mighty messenger, a man chosen amongst men to articulate, to encapsulate, to be a practical example of how people should live, mm -hmm. what, how you should behave to enter paradise. Yeah. No Muslim is a Muslim until they believe in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. But we don't believe he's God, nor is he part of God, nor is he equal with God, nor does he share any part of like uh, any majesty of God. Right. Yeah. Because <clears throat> you guys are quite young, so I don't want to go too deep into like Jesus Christ dying on the cross for our sins. Because mm -hmm. the reality of it is, you need to have a basic understanding of the scripture. Yeah. yeah. Right, yeah. <coughs> And the basic understanding of the scripture would be, um, it's, it's, it's like a oxymoron, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Mm. Because for Jesus Christ to die on the cross for our sins, right? Mm -hmm. um, he couldn't be a man. Yeah? So then that means that you'd have to believe it's God that died on the cross for our sins. Because you need um, something that's divine to die. But then, that's an oxymoron because it doesn't make sense that God would die on the cross because God yeah. doesn't die. I understand, yes. Yeah? yes. But that's a bit more of a different, difficult theology. Yeah, I want to yeah, keep it a bit yeah, more simpler. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? <clears throat> you, you, can, you can rebuttal me or challenge me or anything like that yeah. if you want. Yeah? The point I'm trying to make is, is Jesus Christ God or is he sent by God? You're saying he's the image of God. Yeah, mm -hmm. but so he's not God, hundred percent. Okay, he's do you God agree? With human form, yeah. Okay, <clears throat> so that means God became a human being. In our, uh, so if God became a human it's being, very, like, it's not. It's something that you can't properly explain. It's just what it is. Like he's just me, yeah. he's just the revelation yeah. of God. That's what it is. I would, I would argue he came with God's revelation. That's what, what I believe as a Muslim. Okay. Yeah? Because the reason I'm going to um, kind of pressure you a little bit is yeah. because you're saying that Islam appealed to you, but Christianity made more sense to you. It was more correct, so you went with Christianity. Mm. And again, you were born in a Christian family. Yeah, so it only makes sense <coughs> for me to do so. Not necessarily, because there yeah, are yeah, many people like, who are born. Was, yeah. No, no, and again, I don't want to... Um, there are many people who are born in... Christian families who became Muslim, mm. 
Yeah. Here, personally, um, we have so many people who became Muslim. You can watch on our YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. And me, myself, I've follow, I don't follow, but I've um, tuned into Christian channels. Mm -hmm. How many times are they filming anyone becoming Christians? We don't, the, our purpose is not to convert people, it's just to spread the word. Like we then what's the not, point? It's not, the thing is, it's not by <coughs> it's force. Point, it becomes pointless. It's not by force. I don't force anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The it's, point of yeah. having a religion is not to build a large group. Yeah. That's why we don't try to convert because we can't convert someone, so we need to do it themselves. Yeah, so we obviously, the we're going to look, the we're going to educate people on a topic, we're going to tell them who he is and stuff like that. And if they want to question us, we can answer it. But it's a thing where we don't, if they want to convert, it's their choice, isn't it? And no, no, I'm, but you're implying that Muslims, we force them. We have a conversation, oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, have yeah. a dialogue, yeah. Islam makes sense to them, mm -hmm. they become Muslim. It. Your Christianity, your intention, sorry, let me just quickly finish yeah, my point. Yeah. As Christians, your target is to propagate Christianity to the point people become Christians. Yeah. You don't just preach it. Yeah. Does it make sense? Yeah. My point is, <clears throat> you could argue and Muslims would make the same point. I have no control over who becomes Muslim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have no control over who becomes Christian. Yeah. 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 But the intention is, you have a conversation as a Christian person, you would want the other person to become Christian. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Me, yeah. myself, right now, <clears throat> um, the intention is first to get to know what you believe. Mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah. Then to introduce you to Islam. Right. If you left, I'm cool. Okay. If the conversation continues and you decide to become Muslim, yeah. that's the best outcome. Yeah. Similarly, if you spoke to somebody about Christianity, mm. you'd want them to become Christian, no? Or you'd right. be like, no, no, don't become Christian. Just, just listen to the message, but don't become Christian. Um, my personal belief is yeah. is that as long as you believe in a creator yeah. that there is God yeah. I think that is enough to for you to live with them uh, along your life I don't think religion plays a big part of you and God because you and God is you and God it's the relationship between you a person and God Christianity um, Islam all of all of these religions I think it's just a play not play like it's just a part of what to strengthen your faith it is, you know what I mean? Like you read it, you study the Bible, um, the Quran and things like that. And that's just to educate, you know, your better understanding about This is, God is semantics. Because... But, but what I think is that as long as you believe that there is a God, that's enough. Because and as long as you're praying, as of course, praying and doing all of these things. And as what long what as things? To, See, like, first you said, believing God is enough. Yeah. Then you said you have to uh, pray. Um, yeah. Then you're going to say you have to be good. Then you're going to say you have to follow the commandments. Then you have to say you can't break the commandments. So yeah. suddenly the criteria is increasing. Now, yeah. I agree with the criteria mm -hmm. thus far. Yeah. But it doesn't matter if I agree. It doesn't matter if you disagree. Okay. What matters is the one who legislated the criteria. Mm -hmm. So it's not for you to say what the criteria is. It's not for me to say either. Is whatever the creator of the heavens and the earth has decided is the criteria. Yeah. So the criteria isn't just to believe in one God. Right. Many people believe in one God. Yeah. I mean, listen, most people believe in one God, but the issue becomes on how they define it. Yeah. No, as long, I feel like as long as you act on it, then it is it's because because praying is talking to God. That's how you strengthen your faith through prayer, through obviously reading um, the Bible. In our case, to to get a better understanding of what he did for us and other things like that. But to actually go on, I've, my mind's gone blank for a second. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. <coughs> the thing is, right? But yeah, to, oh yeah, what well, I was going to say, oh. to act on it is like, yeah, just praying and doing all of those things. And believing is the main specific thing. Religion is just a part of, a part of... What is, what is belief without action? No, that's the point. It's belief and action. But I'm exactly. saying that religion is just a, a title on what you believe, even though we all, I think, pretty much believe in the same God. Okay. Even though it's in different religions, I think it's, there is one God. And obviously, but we all just believe different forms of who that is. Now. And what he means to us. So I think language, language is important. Yeah. 
yes. the point you've made, I can probably guess what church you go to because I know what <coughs> what people preach this, right? Because like we don't believe in religion, we believe the, 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 it's not it's not. I don't go. I, I go to church, but but, but it's never it's never church. it's not it's never here nor there. Because the fact of the matter is, it's important for us to lose rhetoric, dialogue, language mm -hmm. that is used. I don't. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. No problem. Madam, if you give me one moment, I would like this gentleman to talk to you a little bit about the Quran. I've got to go. If you need to go, then you go, madam, no problem. If you're here tomorrow? Um, tomorrow we are here, yes. You're going to see Thank this exact place. Much. To be continued, madam. Thanks Thank so much. You. Take care. Um. <coughs> what I was saying was the thing about acting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <coughs> Bigger moment. Thank you. So, brother, if you speak to this brother for a moment and he'll give you a little breakdown for you. Bring them with you, my bro. Have that convo. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No disrespect, man. Yeah? No, no, yeah, go on. Okay, so you, the point you was making. So, it's like, my point is, we need to use language that's um, used by the scripture. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, if. Allah says that, look, there's um, the only religion, the only deen accepted is Islam. Deen means a complete way of life. Yeah. Yeah. So you're saying, oh, I don't believe in religion. Yeah. I believe in connection with God and following the commandments yeah, and um, belief and action. But that is what religion is. Religion, defined in Islamic language terminology, would be a complete way of life. So it'll be like what you believe and what are the actions. But let's leave that. It's semantics. Yeah, yeah? yeah. Right now, Jesus Christ, is he God or is he sent by God? I think this is a fundamental question. There's not a specific answer. It's just, he's the revelation of God. That's what he is. You can't question it. Like it's not something that you can that we can fully explain as people, isn't it? What, what's your um, input? You see me, yeah, I have so much to say while she was talking. But the thing is, because I haven't read and understood the whole of the word yet, I don't want to say something and then you hit me back with something. You, you probably have more knowledge on your religion than I do on Christianity. So I'm it, 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 it's not. So just like, it's not even that. I don't want this is. This is. This is. I'm not. I'm not trying to defeat points. Yeah. It's not. It's not argument. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not argument. No, 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 no. Feel free to say it because the worst that can happen is this is what you believe, and I'm going to be honest with you. The outcome, um, in its totality, to most conversations is this is what I believe. Why do you believe it? No, this is what I believe. This feels right to me. Yeah. I'm like, did Jesus Christ teach it? It doesn't matter. This is what I believe. This is what I've been taught. Yeah. That the Bible teach it. It doesn't matter. I have a connection with God. Mm. Wallahi, I have people say that. Wallahi means I swear yeah. by Allah. This is what I've heard people say to me. Yeah. There's nothing. There's no argument for me to be, to be had. The point I'm trying to make is <clears throat> nowhere in the entire Bible, not Muslim scripture. My scripture is Quran. Nowhere in the entire Bible. Does Jesus Christ ever say, I am God, worship me? Now, do your research. Prove me wrong. I'm here every Saturday. Does it make sense? In the Bible, it says. Go on. Well, I think it says that Jesus was sent by God. John, John 17, 3. It says. For eternal life that they may know the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. So Jesus Christ himself is saying, this is red letter by the way. Do you girls know, ladies know what red letter is? Yeah. This is red letter. This is what Christians believe is the spoken word of Jesus Christ. He is saying for eternal life that they may know. Eternal life means paradise. For eternal life, for paradise that they may know the only true God. Only. He didn't make himself part of it. He said the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. I can give you many verses like this. And you've even heard it. Jesus Christ is saying, of my own free will, I can do nothing. There's a hierarchy. Yeah? When you say Jesus is um, God or image of God, it's like, again, you need to be more specific. You're using ambiguous language. Yeah? That's why I'm trying to bring it down straight. 
is Jesus Christ God? Is he with God? Is he on the level with God? Does it make sense? Yeah. As in, literally, same as God. Yeah? I'm saying, as a Muslim, we believe Jesus was sent by God. Moses was sent by God. Yeah. Prophet Muhammad was sent by God. Abraham was sent by God. Yeah. These are all pious people, pure people. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. <coughs> so, now, um, what did you want to say? Because my point is, yeah, so that's, that's claim number one of mine, yeah? Go research, speak to whoever you want to speak to, yeah? Do your own independent research. If someone says to you that, oh, um, you have to believe, or he was too, what's the word, they, what's the thing they say? He was humble, he was too modest to claim to be God. So you're telling me, I'm going to hell because Jesus Christ was too humble, too modest to call himself God. I would believe Jesus Christ is God if he claimed to be God. But now Christians are saying to me, no, he was too humble, he was too modest. He was sent, you believe, he was sent as God to die on the cross for our sins. He never said that. I'm, I'm getting emotional now, my apologies. Yeah, yeah. That's right, that's right. Passionate. He never said, I'm going to die on the cross for your sins. Moses never said he's going to die on the cross, on the cross for our sins. Abraham never said that. Yeah. So why do Christians believe it? Really? That's he didn't my... have to say it, he just did it. And everyone knew that it was for their sins because it was all the people around him. I don't know it. They were blaming him. Does that make sense? If that's a strong argument for you, it doesn't meet my criteria. So my criteria is, he never said it. The Bible doesn't say it. Moses didn't say it. And listen to your argument. Yeah? And again, I'm not going to like disassemble it. I'm not going to yeah, insult yeah. you. You're like, I'm just reiterating your argument. Mm -hmm. I'm not mocking or anything. Yeah? I mean, no offense. Yeah? You're saying people around him knew. I don't know what people around him knew. Show me what people around him knew. Oh, um, who's this individual? What's his second name? Why is it anonymous? What's his character? What's his dad's name? Who did he marry? What, like, in Islam, by the way, by the way, I don't put any criteria on Christianity, I don't put on Islam. If I say this is a hadith, if I said the Prophet Muhammad said this, if I said this Quran, then it, like, we test the memory of the individual who said it. We test his character, we test if he was physically there. Am I, am I making sense? Yeah. We have these five criteria for authenticating hadiths. Yeah? Hadiths are the statements of the Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. What's up? Do you yeah. guys need to go, by the way? Yeah, I just want to say, I just want to justify. No, don't justify. You just, you're entitled to your opinion. I don't yeah, want you to justify anything. I just want to say yeah. that no one um, gave me these ideas to believe what I believe. Obviously, I, I've just, I've seen and heard certain things. Obviously, I can't exactly quote certain things that I've heard and seen because I don't exactly remember them. But I have watched videos on um, Islam and I've watched videos on Christianity. And from what I've heard, it, Christianity just makes sense to me. And tell I, me and what. Also, I want to say. Tell me what makes sense about Christianity and what doesn't make sense about Islam. And then I'll shut my mouth. I'll, li I'll listen. That, that, as, I, as I just said, like, I can't quote a certain thing. But no, but you're making a claim. I don't, I don't want, oh, yeah, yeah. in this book, this chapter, yeah. this verse number. Just say that, look, uh, maybe even, oh, on YouTube, this is the video, or... Does it make sense? Because the fact of the matter is, this is why in Islam it's very important to actually speak with references. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, like, uh, even when you become a doctor or a lawyer, like, there comes a point where you need to give citations, you need to give references. And I'm saying, I'm being loose with you guys. You don't even need to say what part of the Bible, just say in the Bible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because somebody, even myself, just because I'm standing here, okay, I've got a bit of whatever, I can, I can string along a few sentences. If I don't speak with reference, reject everything I've said. Does it make sense? Yeah, I get it. Now, yeah, so that's it. So if someone says something and it sounds nice, no, is he referencing the Bible? Or is he referencing a saint? Is he referencing the Bible? Is he referencing his dream? Is he referencing the Bible? Is he referencing his opinion? Does that make sense? Because 
with all due respect, yeah, I'll just put it on that as a concise point. No, so yeah, I get, I if, get if there's something saying. that makes sense to you, because even now you fail to explain to me your concept of Jesus Christ. I haven't even gone into your concept of God. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it should be simple. But I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, let me, let me put the burden on myself. Yeah? God is one. Yes. Yeah? Allah <coughs> create, um, is self-sustaining eternal. Yeah? Does not beget nor is he begotten. He doesn't have children nor does he have um, nor is he born. And there's nothing equal or comparable to him. This is my full line definition of Allah. It's given in the Quran chapter 112. Now, God chose prophets and messengers yeah, to articulate his message. Whoever follows them will enter paradise. Whoever it's an article of faith, you need to believe in them. You're not a Muslim until you believe in Jesus Christ. You're not a Muslim until you believe in Moses. You're not a Muslim until you believe in Abraham. You're not a Muslim until you believe in the Prophet Muhammad. Yeah. Yeah? But these are all men sent by God. Simple. It's not, it's not difficult. Yeah. And you're saying that you left, you didn't leave Islam, you looked into it, but Christianity made more sense to you. What made more sense to you? That's why I'm burdening you because... Well, Muhammad came 500 years after Christ. Okay, yeah, go on. So it only just makes sense in my head that Christ was here like first, in a way. He was like, here he first, was yeah. One, yeah he was he, here earlier than him. Yeah, yeah, that he like came here and spread the word. And then people obviously put false claims on him saying, oh, this guy, you know, he's spreading fake news or whatever. And that's why people came for Jesus. Then he had to obviously down a cross for everything for, for all our sins, you know. So it's just, it's just a thing where it just makes sense in my head that that is what it is. Based on that? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm, that, I'm curious. Just based on yeah. that. Now, it becomes more difficult, the but burden also, of... Religion isn't a big thing to me. Obviously, I am a Christian, but I mean, in general, people who I feel like, if, as long as you do have a relationship with God, which is through prayer, then that is enough. It's not enough. Don't, 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 don't backtrack. Does it make sense? My point is, look, I would respect you guys more to say, look, I'm a Christian and this is what I believe. Yeah. And leave the convo like that. Does yeah, it make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because. The thing is, everyone's entitled to their own... No, 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 but life. you can be respectful and you guys have been nothing but respectful yeah, yeah, yeah. and hopefully I've been respectful as well, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, you know you have your criteria of belief, mm -hmm. yeah? Whoever doesn't meet that criteria won't enter paradise. In Islam, we have a criteria of belief. If you don't meet that criteria, you're not going to enter paradise. Now, my argument would be the criteria most likely that you guys are thinking of wasn't taught by Jesus Christ. Yeah? Because okay. if you look into... Um, have you heard the verse? Um, God so loved the world. Yes. He sent His only begotten Son. Yeah, yeah. Whoever does... Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. but Jesus Christ never said that, number one. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And many Bibles, yeah, have... Christian churches, Christian Bibles have taken that verse out as a concoction. Yeah? John 3, 16. So I'm saying that, so that criteria isn't even given by Jesus Christ. In fact, shall I give you the criteria given by Jesus Christ? Do you guys have a b b Bible with you? No, not on us, no. On your phone? Bible? Yeah. I have um, a Bible app on my phone. Yeah, open up the Bible app if you wouldn't mind. <coughs> but, I think, but I think my app, it's not exactly like the whole Bible, I think it's just certain quotes. <laughs> Have the, the yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what that. Yeah, yeah, that. I just Mark twelve twenty eight. What version? It's up to you. Was it Mark? Yes. Um, 12.28 <sighs> 
even if you open chapter 3, verse 40, yeah, I think you'd be pleasantly surprised. Okay. No, you read it, you read it. And one of the scribes came and having heard them reasoning together and perceiving that he had answered them well, asked him, which is the first command of Moses? And Jesus answered him. Yeah. Hear, O Israel. Pardon? He said, Hear, O Israel, your Lord our God is one. Yeah. yeah. So here Jesus Christ could have said Trinity. Here Jesus Christ has said, I and the Father and the Holy Spirit are one. Yeah. Yeah, whoever worships me will enter paradise and da, 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 da. I am the begotten son of God. Da, 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 da. He didn't say that. He said, Hear, O Israel, your Lord our God is one. Worship him with all your heart and all your might and love your neighbor like you love yourself. This is the same thing as Moses taught in the Ten Commandments. The first commandment is, um, your Lord um, is one. Don't make any images of God. <coughs> I might keep one of these. Yeah, go for it. What do you mean fresh? You're the one that bent it and over now. Okay, I'm, okay. I'm playing, I'm playing. Bismillah, no problem. So I just quoted um, a reference and your I think friend. The Quran and the Bible are somewhat similar in specific ways. <coughs> I can't, obviously, as I said before, like, I can't. No, you haven't read the Bible. I mean, you haven't read the Quran, so I don't expect yeah, you yeah. to like, back it up. I think, look, they're similar in the pure monotheism. Yeah. Because I've seen some videos that quote like similar quotes from both. Yeah. No, no. Like I gave a reference yeah. of the Bible. Now I gave John seventeen three. Like I don't have an issue with some verses of the Bible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But there are other verses of the Bible where man-made elements have gone into it. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and even, you know, I found it interesting. I found in regards to. For God so loved the world, He sent His only begotten Son. You know, God refers in the Bible refers to David as begotten Son. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? No. My mind's kind of blank right now. So now you wouldn't know that because you don't get taught it. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you Google it, I think it's. Um, <laughs> hold on. <coughs> I made a note of it on my phone. <laughs> Psalms 2 7. Yeah? Yeah. Um, where David is being referred to as the begotten son of God. Mm -hmm. So then it's like God is referring to other people as begotten. So when you come with, for God so loved the world, he sent his only begotten son. Mm -hmm. Only begotten son. But then how comes David is begotten as well? Yeah. I can't, as I said, like, I can't answer that. <coughs> No, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Do you, do you have any questions for me, by the way? Go for it. You said, right, that in Red writing, in the Bible, yeah. Jesus never said that him and God are the same. He never said he is God. He never says he is God, yeah. If, well, okay, he never said I am God, right? Yeah. But in John 10, verse 30, yeah. he said, I and my Father are one. Yeah. Now, when you read seven verses before that, yeah you see the context, yeah? I and the Father are one in message, yeah? So again, this is, this is a very interesting and very important quote because Christians will come that I am the Father are one. So what's your point? One in what? Because where's the third? Yeah. I and the Father and the Holy Spirit are one. <coughs> so the context of it is in message. Is that the verse that you gave her? Um, I think she's reading the chapter oh, okay. in regards to... She's reading the Bible. Oh, Do you have any questions for me? Mm. Just... As not at the top of my, usually I would, but right now I'm not... No, no, that's fine. When you have, thing, have time, yeah. think about it. Late. So my mind's kind of blank, but usually I do have. No, no, that's fine. We're here um, every Saturday. If I do see you again, I will 
Oh. No, no, please come back here yeah. and then ask ask anyone because here. I, like, um, honestly, I usually do have questions. No, no, that's fine. And we welcome it. We welcome yeah. it. I just want to clarify that just because the Prophet Muhammad came like 500 years after Jesus Christ, yeah, um, there's more likelihood of the message being preserved because he came after. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's prove it. Yeah. Look into what the oldest version of the Bible you have is. Yeah. And then look into Quran Birmingham manuscript. We have Quran in the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad. We have over 200 million people who have memorized the Quran in the language the Prophet spoke, which is Arabic. We have 200 million people have memorized the Quran word for word in the Arabic language. And yeah, I'm going to let you ladies go. Um, well, thank you for the talk anyway. Thank you. I hope I haven't said anything rude or no, disrespectful. No, no. Um, and I welcome this conversation. I sincerely appreciate your time. I feel like you've invested time in reading the Bible. Do you want to say anything before you go? Mm. Did you I'll read seven verses you. verses before? I'll, I'll come back to you when I've understood the word Pardon? I'll come back to you when I've understood the word Philly. No, no, that's, I'll be honest with you. That's, then you're never going to come back to me. No. <laughs> No, 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 because even myself, like, I can't say I will fully ever understand the Qur'an. Does it make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. make it more realistic. I think, like, put, 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 put in your notes my questions. Prove me wrong, which is, does Jesus Christ ever claim to be God? Categorically. Yeah? And whatever verses, which I doubt anyone will be able to give you clear verses. that's like me saying, obviously, well, from what you're saying, because you're pulling up verses from the Bible and stuff like that, it's just like you've read the Bible as well, you know what I'm saying? Like, cool. So that's like me reading the Bible and reading the Quran and seeing <coughs> what it doesn't say in the Bible and what it does say in the Quran just so I can prove someone else is wrong. But this like, is... Obviously it's not arguing, is it? No, 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 you're yeah. right, you're right, you're right. But, but this like, is a fundamental. If Jesus Christ is God yeah. and I'm saying He's not, you're saying He is, I'm saying He's not, like bring your evidence. Huh? I feel like you use this point a lot when it comes to talking to like no, 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 no. I use this point with everyone. Right. I, I spend. This is I, what I was saying. No, no. This is no. This is my fundamental point that this if. This is everyone's question. Well, no, but the thing is, it's yeah. kind of like it's like. But you then you. Use that point on people that but don't know. Much the, no, no. Then bring, bring what, why you believe. It's getting recorded. People might not be convinced. Yeah. yeah? It might be what convinces you might not convince me. Yeah. My criteria is simple. Did Jesus Christ say it? Did the Bible say it? Did the prophets before him say it? What's, you, what's convinced you Jesus Christ is God? And then I'm going to let you go. I'm not going to lie. But he's, to me, I've never told you, like, oh, Jesus is God. Do you know what I'm saying? I never said that. <coughs> Obviously, you've made a point. I'm trying to you could disagree with me and say I'm Jesus trying, isn't God. I'm trying to... The thing is, because you're making I'm a gonna point... I'm going to have to move it out. Yeah, 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 that's fine. We can move yeah, 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 that's fine. Just two more minutes. They're going to they're gonna oh, leave soon. Yeah, yeah. Because you're making a point and you're basically saying, like, okay, no, say this. I'm trying to find words to it does say it. And then, but yeah, no, no, but, no. But when I go to church and stuff, I've always said like, yeah. Jesus is a God, Jesus is a God. They're telling me, yeah, it is, yeah, it is. And they give me an understanding of how Jesus is good. But from memory, I cannot remember what they say. No, no, that's fine. You know what I'm they give you an understanding. They make a passionate point. Did they reference Jesus? Did they reference the Bible? But again, go, do your independent research. There's no pressure. The fact of the matter is, um, <coughs> It's not your job to be able to answer all of my questions when I randomly ask you a question. You've never met somebody. Do you know what I mean? It's nothing to be embarrassed of. It's not a big deal. The thing is, you just have to go to your church and think to yourself that when you're at home, when you're praying to the creator of the heavens and the earth, what is my criteria and are you satisfied? That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. If you got, by the way, if you've got any questions for me, about Islam. We're here every Saturdays. If you want to follow up this conversation, we're here every Saturdays. Thank you so much. Sincerely appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Asalaamu As Alaikum. Alhamdulillah, they took a Quran, so that's good news. May Allah um, grant them hidayat and keep them searching for the truth and guide, give them the truth before they die. Amen. Asalaamu As Alaikum. Done, yeah? done, done. Sorry, brothers. Okay, brother, Salaam alaikum. Ta'al huna.